Some of the planets in our solar system are demonstrating the ability to support life, but in ways we haven't seen before. Mars was once home to lakes and rivers, making it the most likely planet to sustain life. A thin layer of icy, high altitude clouds may have created a greenhouse effect that kept early Mars warm enough for rivers and lakes. But the story is no longer the same. Carbon dioxide dominates the environment, which accounts for 96% of the total concentration. The oxygen content is just 0.13%, compared to 21% in the Earth's atmosphere. Humans die within minutes in these environments unless a pressure suit offers life support. With an air pressure above 19 kilopascals, 2.8 pounds per square inch, there will be no need for a pressure suit. NASA's Perseverance rover, on the other hand, was effective in producing fresh air. The rover's experimental system broke down carbon dioxide molecules into their constituent parts and produced approximately 10 minutes worth of breathable oxygen. Its function is to separate oxygen atoms from carbon dioxide, which is the main component of Mars' atmosphere. Several theories have been proposed to explain the loss of Mars' atmosphere. According to a computer simulation report, Mars had a global magnetic field billions of years ago, but it stopped working about 4 billion years ago for unclear reasons, leaving it exposed to radiation and solar flares, which destroyed the atmosphere. The global magnetic field of Mars, like that of Earth, is assumed to be the result of a dynamo effect triggered by movement in its core, says another study published in the journal Science Advances. A magnetic field is generated when a liquid outer core rotates around a solid outer core in the opposite direction of the planet's rotation. The planet's atmosphere would become increasingly thin over time if the magnetic field disappears. It confirms that planets require a magnetic shielding field to protect them from harmful radiation in order to support life. Another view suggests that Mars' lower mass and density, in contrast to Earth, may have contributed to its internal cooling more rapidly. This caused the planet's outer core to solidify, halting the Martian dynamo effect. However, since the pressure in Mars' interior is too low for it to solidify, its inner core is thought to be a liquid. At the moment, there are only interpretations as to why Mars' global magnetic field vanished. A new study led by University of Chicago planetary scientist Edwin Kite, used a 3D model of the entire planet's atmosphere and came up with a reasonable answer. None of the previous theories brought by scientists have ever quite worked. Some speculated that a massive asteroid colliding would have released enough kinetic energy to warm the planet. However, some estimates indicated that this impact would last just a year or two, although the tracks of ancient rivers and lakes indicate that the warming possibly lasted hundreds of years. Even a small amount of high-altitude clouds in the atmosphere can dramatically increase the temperature of a planet. If vast areas of Mars were covered in ice, the surface humidity would prefer low-altitude clouds, which aren't thought to warm planets very much. However, if there is just a thin layer of ice, such as at the poles or on the peaks of mountains, the air on the ground becomes much drier. These conditions prefer a thick layer of clouds, which warm planets more quickly. But if we talk about the Earth, water rovers nearly three quarters of the surface and water passes rapidly and unevenly between the ocean, the atmosphere, and land. It moves in swirls and eddies which leave some areas mostly dry like the Sahara and others soaked like the Amazon. Mars, on the other hand, had far less water on its surface even at the height of its habitability. Researchers believe that water would have remained in the early Martian atmosphere for a long time, perhaps a year, which allowed long-lived high-altitude clouds to form. The NASA's Mars Perseverance rovers also focuses on surface-based studies of the Martian climate. It is specifically looking for preserved signs of biosignatures in rock samples produced in ancient Martian environments with conditions that may have been favorable to microbial life. 
The scientists believe that knowing the full story of how Mars obtained and lost its warmth and atmosphere would assist in the quest for other habitable worlds. Mars is significant because it is the only known planet capable of supporting life. Because of its proximity and similarity to Earth, the possibility of life on Mars has sparked the interest of scientists. There has been no proof of past or current life on Mars till date. However, humans' insatiable curiosity will keep them looking for signs of life on Mars.